Hi there, Phil from Redactive here. Now I recently had a prospective client ask me whether it was possible to attach a file to a row in Smartsheet and then for that file to be attached automatically to all the child rows beneath it. Well now I thought, this is the kind of thing that Bridge was made for. Shall we see what I came up with? Now you may recognise this sheet from a previous video where I was demonstrating how you can enter um, a single form entry with multiple selections in a single column and then get multiple rows generated from that with each different entry split out on an individual row. It's a really great video, do check it out. Uh, but the reason I'm reusing it here is it's got a simple parent-child hierarchy and what we're trying to do here is demonstrate that if I attach a row, uh, attach a, uh, an attachment to this row, uh, that we get that attachment link Put on each one of these. So let's go down here. I'm going to attach from Google Drive and the reason for this is this method works really really well if you've got a cloud storage location but Bridge can't handle um, files directly uh, so if you try and use the upload a file um, option it's not going to work. So let's go to Google Drive. Let me type logo in here and we'll find an old productive logo and we'll attach that to the parent row. That triggers off this bridge workflow um, and effectively the first thing that we do on here is to, to get the attachment information, particularly we want the URL. What we don't get with the get attachment is any information uh, regarding the row that it was attached to beyond some very, very sort of basic information. In particular, we don't understand you know, what, um, what children it's got. So that, but we do get the ID of the, sheet, the row that it's attached to. So we run a get sheet um, and that gives us every row in the sheet uh, and we can identify from that which, which of those other rows have the, uh, the attachment row as a parent. And then we go, hey, for those rows, please add that attachment link to them. If we go back to the sheet, we refresh and we have it attached to all the rows beneath it. Just to prove that out and make sure you know that I'm not making this up, let's click on the, um, on the parent row, show you what the logo looks like. Close that off, move to the, uh, the first child row, click on that and it loads up, same logo. So just another method of using Bridge to enhance Smartsheet's functionality beyond its core capabilities. I hope you've enjoyed it. Do stay tuned for more videos from us and take care of yourselves.